So excited today to share with you the work of Suzanne Belperone. She was one of the greatest designers of the 20th century. And Patricia Corbet, Ward Landrigan, and Nico Landrigan have put together an amazing uh, book uh, filled with incredible photos. I'd like to jump in right away and show you the most exciting piece in the entire book and the story of it. Uh, my name is Sergio Andres with Elegance Found, and let's go. So the most incredible piece, the most famous piece, the one that defines uh, Susan Perron's style is this uh, Chalcedony Perrer. That was made uh, by Suzanne Belperon, designed by Suzanne Belperon uh, for the Duchess of Windsor in 1937, soon after uh, the Duke of Windsor abdicated. The Duke of Windsor loved jewelry. The Duchess of Windsor loved jewelry. And here she is in... Um, in a photo done by Cecil Beaton, it came out. And here she is wearing uh, a flower brooch and two earrings here. Um, that was part of the Peru. You'll see that it's slightly different here. And it's because this particular piece had a story to tell and it was adjusted as the years went by. Um, that brooch became a clasp on this double beaded chalcedony beads. Um, but the original clasp was actually uh, seen here. So you have the gouache um, that Suzanne Belpron did and it was two chalcedony leaves with a faceted sapphire. And the clasp actually was in between these two leaves. I think that's just a beautiful design. Uh, and the original earrings were what were called demi-fleurs. So they were half flowers. So I can only imagine that they looked like this brooch. And this brooch, just to see it in a little bit more detail, here's a photo of a different brooch done, uh, it says Noel, 1936. This is a part of a collection of the Lanvan family. And what's amazing about this uh, brooch is that each of these petals actually moved. So there were five petals, the chalcedony. And you see that the diamonds actually take a backstage to the exquisite carvings of the chalcedony. I think that's amazing. Uh, and the juxtaposition, the tone on tone, of the chalcedony with the cabochon sapphires, I think it's exquisite. And I think really representative of just like how mind-blowingly innovative the style that Susan Bell Perron created was. Um, I, I think this chalcedony work, the other thing that I thought was wonderful about this Perron is that after taking these clips, these gouache clips that were part of the original design, after the war, uh, the Duke of Windsor revisited it. And the complete set looks like this. And what is amazing is that these two leaves, the ones that were designed as the final ear clips of the Peru, are actually asymmetrical. So you'll notice that they turn to the left, both of them. But then there's a left and a right. This is amazing to have a woman, the Duchess of Windsor, wearing something that's so stylish and so elegant. And then in, com in combination with these upright beads set on these bangles, uh, this is another style that Belle Perron um, has owned over the years. And it's, it's just an incredibly rich way to set beads on bangles. I like the idea that you can wear them on each wrist or you can wear them side by side with the beads on the outsides. So, there's these, this particular Perreur was um, a part of the Duchess of Windsor's uh, Sotheby's auction of her jewelry in 1987. And it's really when Suzanne Perron came back on the world stage. And since then, the auction prices have just gone completely wild. Um, these bangles were sold in uh, 2004 by Christie's for $117,000. Uh, so, you know, almost 20 years after the original sale. But then in 2015, these same bangles sold for more than $500,000. And I think that this recognition of Susan Balperon as one of the most incredible designers of the 20th centuries is warranted. This book by Patricia Corbet is filled with incredible examples of what defines her style and what made her such an innovator. It also tells the story of Suzanne Belperone and her life. Um, 
very well as also. So it's a, it's a biography as well. Uh, so as such, you know, this is a definitive monograph of Suzanne Belperone. I think that it would have a place in the library of anyone uh, that loves um, designer jewelry and anyone that's interested in the history of jewelry. Um, my name is Sergio Andres with Elegance Found. Thank you so much, and I hope you have a wonderful day.